first visit to the fabled Limerick Citadel then for the Bulls from Pretoria. Visitors raging Bulls can get gain line that Munster will be on the back foot. They will simply have to get immeasurably better than they were against Connacht if they are to team the Bulls tonight and go to the Aviva next week to play Leinster in hope rather than in fear. Just six points from their opening four games. This time last year, they'd taken 19 of a possible 20 points. Four wins from four. That's going to be a full penalty. Straight away, Casey wants to go and he wants to play. And he wants to set the radar for that try line. I think he's over the try line. To turn that up, I mean, fair play to Casey. You can see Coombs trying to get the ball off him. It goes low. Oh, it's hard to know. I mean, he is stopped. He's definitely stopped short. He is entitled to. Well, as you can see on that no shot try. from our Extra camera forward. angle, the rain absolutely driving now. In the camp at the front, and then it's their turn to miss out the pass. It was intended for Kutsia. Our answer. High Just tackle this time from yeah. Gavin Coombs. High tackle. It's tough when you're playing against the small man. Nothing easy, nothing taken for granted in these wretched conditions in Limerick tonight. Goggin, no purchase, no through. Rock solid Bulls defence, but they've infringed in the eyes of the referee, just straying offside. Penalty advantage, Casey knows that. Up into the air towards Tag Burn, shot to nothing really. I think Munster, I still feel like Munster are going to come yeah. good this season. But the problem is, you know, there's seven games in a row at the start of the season. You know, and if you fall too far behind, it's hard to make up. And they're all piling in there now. Casey had a little bit of a look to see, but they're blocked again. Advantage again now for Munster. Penalty advantage, they're camped right on that Bulls line, and now they drive over. And this time, Mike Adamson is on hand to reward the try to Gavin Coombs. Seeking out further cushion of a second try, popped away by Coombs to climb this time a dog boat presents it back and they reload the gun and they fire again and that's on the try line and it must be given not been pretty but it was never going to be here it is the dog boat carries Coombs gets organised watch Archer and O'Mahony just that's that's Peter O'Mahony on one side Stephen Archer on the other side and it's much more like to love Jake White spoke about that being a symptom of their defeat in Glasgow last week. Now, Joey Carberry slips away from one tackle, puts the kick over the top, asks a lot of Jeremy Lockman, but sometimes the points of the ball can go your way. And it goes the way of Munster, and it goes the way of Lockman. And look at the smile on the faces of those Munster players. Fekker throw available, but they go the other way to Tagburn. Pulls it in behind a dog bow and into Klein. Good tackle from Via Steenkamp. Crowley takes over. He looks sharp and imaginative and keen to get involved. Again, he's shipped another late hit. Lockman. Instant, yeah, fair call from the referee. It was nothing in that. Just dirty. Just an absolute cheap shot, hitting someone on the back. Don't like to see that at all. Good decision, good refereeing. But yeah, I just think. It's been interesting seeing, uh, and obviously Joey Carberry put playing at fullback last week. Here, as you see that accusations that they sealed it off and may have had a case, but they've spilled it anyway. Bulls ball now. Can they conjure something from nothing? Creel. As support comes in, the dive for the line and in goes via Steenkamp, and the Bulls have their try. And this is where Munster. Doesn't want to be held up over the line. I think he's right on the line now. Munster might struggle to get the ball back here. Hands away is the cry. Oh, they get it out to Tagburn. And that should be the bonus point try. And it is four tries to the good. Play that we haven't seen so far this year. Their ability to turn the screw and get teams when it gets ugly. Just really good body position from Tagburn. A little bit short of match fitness in the game at Rodney Parade when he came off the bench earlier than he might have expected, and you could see that, but he seldom gives or drops too far below. 
really, really high performance level. Picked up by Bismarck Duplessis. That went back, and there's going to be a counter for the line here. They're going to concede a second try. Munster as David Creel runs over half of the pitch for a simple score. They just see, didn't quite see first time what happens. A big collision, wasn't it, from Steenkamp? Almost looked a bit of high. And then the ball just came out. Didn't see who it was. Munster just needs to work a little bit harder on the ground and push that. Their performance over the 80 minutes deserves little less, and there will be a huge roar as Jack O'Donoghue hacks the ball into the crowd at Thoman Park. And Munster have their win, and they have their bonus point. And it's two wins in five games. They got the job done in Cork, and now on their first outing of the season here at Thoman Park in Limerick, they have got the job done against the Vodacom Bulls.